Welcome to Malaki Studios. In today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about changing speed, reversing clips, and basic time manipulation in your video clips. So let's get into it. So the first thing after actually opening up the program is you wanna go down into the import area and we're gonna actually import the footage now. So I'm gonna actually do that for you guys real quick. So now that we actually have the footage, you can actually double click on that and it'll open up right here. So if you look at the entire screen, it's literally just like right in the center. And basically you can go in here and you can set your in and out points real quick to figure out where you want your clip to begin and where you want it to end. So once you actually have that, you're gonna take that clip, just literally drag that into the timeline and you can place it down right there. First of all, you can actually reverse a clip by literally just clicking on it and then going back up here. But instead of pressing onto the footage viewer, you're gonna actually be pressing on the parameter editor and you're gonna see all of these different like little blocks that you can basically edit, which are connected to the nodes. So what we wanna do for the reversing part is we want to go down until we see right here wherever you can see this clip and it has a reverse option you would literally just click that and it would reverse it so for instance if we go over to the viewer real quick and I play it you can see that it's starting there and then going down but now if I press that button so if we go over to here and we press that reverse button and then we actually go to the viewer you're going to notice that when we press play it's going to start at that bottom and actually go back up so i'm actually going to disable it now and i'm going to show you guys actually how to change the speed which is actually right above that you can actually just drag it so let's say instead of 100 percent we want it to be a little bit more slow we can do like 80 percent speed and then you can literally just play that and now it's at 80 percent speed so now it's a little bit slower it's chugging through a tiny bit um one of the key things about doing things like this is whenever you're doing it make sure that your clip for instance on mine we have it at 59.9401 um, frames per second you normally want your sequence to actually be in a lower frame rate so what you can do is do a right click press this properties one and basically it's gonna pull up this wherever you can see your video your width height and frame rate and everything else but all we have to do is change this frame rate to something closer about like that 24 um, frames per second and you can also rename it real quick so we'll just call this um, Creek and then you can press ok and now that you actually have that you can just play it through and it should look a little bit more smooth and playback normally is a tiny bit better with it too as well but with that, there is a new node that they added more recently that's actually super awesome. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go over to the node editor and we're gonna, we're gonna do a right click. And once we do that, you're gonna see this add, hover over that, go to general, and there's a time remap node. This is the one that we actually want. So now that we actually have that, we're gonna drag and see how it highlights that blue. What you're going to do is you're going to left click to actually connect it and you can see that the line now connects into the top and also comes out the bottom of that. So now what you can actually do is if you look at the entire thing, but for instance, as you can actually see, if we tried just playing it, it just looks completely flat and boring because of the fact that it actually is using that times code of zero zero and it's just holding that zero zero because we haven't animated it or telling it where to actually go with that information so what you're gonna do is now go up into that area you're gonna press the stopwatch option and once that does that you're gonna see that it says zero zero and you have this little keyframe right there I'm actually gonna go down to the timeline and we're gonna drag it all the way to the end of the clip then we're gonna actually go back up here and we're gonna press that keyframe again and now we want to drag this number until it actually matches the exact same number as back here so if you see that little number there we want it to match that actually so we're going to just drag this number till it's around about there looks about right so now that we have that if you look into the viewer um, we can actually see that if we press play it's just gonna play it out normal but what you can do with this is speed ramping which is a super super cool technique so basically what you would do is you would also go back to this parameter editor and you'd literally just add different keyframes. So let's say for instance, we actually want that time period to go a little bit quicker. All you have to do is drag this number up a little bit so it's a little bit farther in time. And if we play that and we watch it real quick, you can see that it's gonna start pretty quick and it's gonna start slowing down at the end. 
but you can see those flashes which those flashes are actually caused by the fact that I'm pretty sure that the program doesn't have all the frames that it actually needs so a lot of times you have to be a little bit careful with that you can do basic keyframing animations and your freeze frame is literally just like adding that keyframe and then dragging this to whatever point you want so for instance we want this frame for instance it's just gonna stay on that frame which is super super nifty so we have a video over here that YouTube recommends for you and a playlist of all my other all of 0.2 tutorials with that said I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember guys keep on editing we're gonna press this little stopwatch up and I